we're cleaning up this mercury. Yeah, this stuff right here. Nine and a half pounds of mercury. That's what we're starting out with. Got all that mercury and we're going to filter it out. We're going to filter it out. We're going to do a, uh, we're also going to do a chemical clean on it too. Right. So where are we headed? I-beam? I-beam. So we're getting permission for hood usage. That's correct. For mercury filtration. Is that him? Yep, that's him. Hey, I was just that? looking for you. Why is that? I'd like to use one of your hoods. That should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You have everything you need to yep. get in here? Yeah, yeah we got fine. stands and everything. So we should be uh, yep. All right, okay. good. Good. This is the place. Yeah, this is it. This is home. Cool. Thanks. So this right here is mercury and it's very, very heavy. We're going to set up the experiment in this tray. Uh, that way, if we had like glass break or something else, the mercury is contained right. inside the tray. So it's just an added level of protection. Give me the overall run through of what we're going to be doing. So we're probably going to skip out on the filtration because we're going to be doing the distillation on this. So this right here, this is called the separatory funnel. And so this is 500 milliliters, which is plenty enough to hold our mercury. Uh, so we're gonna first we're gonna mix our mercury up and little bit of acetone. So here's the mercury right here. We're gonna put some acetone on the inside. We're gonna shake this thing up real good. And basically, that acetone, any oils and greases and that kind of stuff that are still inside the mercury, that should pull it all out. Uh, so it'll all float up to the top. Then we take this mercury, we put it inside the separatory funnel. And then what'll happen is, because the mercury is so dense, it'll stay down at the bottom and all that acetone with all the oils and stuff stay up at the top. So we just open up this valve, we let it spill down inside our uh, beaker right here, and uh, um, until it gets down to the level of the acetone, then we stop it. And then the acetone, we just dump that inside our waste bin. And we just keep on doing that until we basically feel like we had the mercury pretty well cleaned up. So if you end up with a mercury spill, uh, this actually just came from uh, the local hardware store. And uh, it's 90% sulfur, so that way if you end up with a spill, you can put the sulfur over the top of it. That does uh, two things. One is, is that it'll combine with the mercury for me and mercury sulfide, which is uh, harder for that, that to, uh, as far as like getting personally, uh, getting a dose of mercury, it's more difficult for your body to absorb it. It also makes it a lot easier to clean up. You see bright yellow, then you know you need to clean up that area. But sulfur's good stuff. <laughs> looks, awful, like, looks awful small on you, Ian. That's a little tight. Uh, it's still pretty small, but but it's better. Hey, we're actually we're gonna do this up to this. So that is clean mercury. Uh, so. We ended up, uh, we did an acetone wash on it that took out quite a bit of stuff out of here. Uh, the metal oxides actually separated out fairly well with that, but we noticed that we still have a bunch of junk on the inside. So we did do a uh, uh, 5 molar sodium hydroxide uh, wash on this as well. And we followed that up with uh, some distilled water uh, to basically wash out any remaining hydroxide that was in solution. Cool. So now we have fairly clean mercury. Uh, at this point in time, it's now ready for the distillation chamber. Because cool. the stuff that we didn't get out are all the other metals that might be in here. Because there's going to be lead, magnesium, it's going to be uh, probably some lithium and a bunch of other stuff. Because this came from so many different sources. Uh, the other, the, it's going to have an amalgam with many, many other other metals. We'll get but this. but phase one of the purification process is, is complete. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that'll be good. Sweet. Uh, even Neil, he's there talked about. Neil used to play with this stuff when he, when he was a kid, too. But yeah, there it is. It feels totally weird, too. It's like really amazing stuff. And you can feel the density of it. Lower your hand a little bit. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, so there it is. And it just oh, it, it loves beading back up with itself. So even if you break it up in these smaller beads, just move it around a little bit, and it'll just come right back together again. Definitely want to wear gloves when you're handling this stuff. Although uh, metallic mercury doesn't absorb super easy into your system, you know it's one of those. Just like with lead, we have such high exposure to it because we use it so much. Uh, we need to be really, really careful. And really, anyone that's handling this should should probably be wearing gloves. Cool. So, but yeah, that's basically it. Thank you.